This is where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. I'm Christine Horn, professional working actress of 20 plus years, also known as the Booking Magnet. This is Actors Daily Bread, episode 219. Tonight, I'm talking about acting in the midst of crisis acting in the midst of crisis and this was actually inspired by giving a shout out to kate greer in the hollywood bound actors facebook group on, on facebook if you're not part of our amazing group i was checking in last week and i was like what y'all want me to talk about i'm always looking for amazing ideas for the hollywood bound actors podcast if you don't know we have a podcast and for actors daily bread so you know it, it had me thinking today as i was in the grocery store for 45 minutes trying to check out <laughs> not to buy toilet paper by the way um, but just trying to check out and get some things because this is really it's been raining for days and it's gonna keep raining it made me think about it and I was inspired by Kate Greer and her actual post her question was well not question her comment was I said what do you want to talk about and she said feeling like being an actor still holds importance in the midst of this world crisis she said it kind of reminds me of 9-11 a little and just how to stay the course in the midst of all of this and listen of course my heart my prayers are out for all of us we're all trying to be careful in these corona streets right but also like i'm thinking about my friends who are on cruise ships like right now and who or my broadway family who might be out of work for months you know so it is just affecting of course just everybody but i wanted to just shed some light on it because i was thinking about it too so as you come on in the room make sure you say hi let me know what city you're watching from come on and check in hey brandon right hey kimberly right so let's talk about it so this is what i feel you know when i when i read kate's post and again thank you kate for chiming in you know, my whole thing is in the midst of everything. So whether it's whether it is a, a, a health scare or a, an attack, you know, a terrorist attack or a, a school shooting or whatever, you know, of course it makes us think about life, right? It makes us think about our loved ones, and 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 it can seem frivolous to someone who's not in the world that we are in. Like, oh, you still working on that acting thing or that don't matter in the midst of everything going on. Don't you know how serious this is? Don't you know? Have you not turned on the news? It's like, yes, boo, I have turned on the news and I've turned off the news, right? Because how much can I really take in? And here's what I wanted to say, you know, and that was really interesting. And I'm going to make a weave this together. But, you know, Kate, you asked about, you know, thinking like what's how important is this acting thing in the midst of everything going on and i say extremely i say and not just acting i think we talked about this either earlier this week on monday or was it last week i can't remember on that previous episode about just the importance of art and artists listen when you're laid up in the bed sick sick and sick on the sick and shut in list right brandon if you're on the sick and shut in list you're not feeling well right i just checked it on a girlfriend and i was like hey girl i hear from you okay she's like no i'm just chilling binging tv like okay awesome but guess what guess who's on the tv actors artists it takes writers it takes producers it takes the camera operators it takes the crew it takes the actors it takes everybody to come together to create this entertainment what would y'all be binging what would you be there would be no netflix and chill there would be no apple tv if there were not artists creating this beautiful beautiful work and so the tip i want to give you as you're we're in this flux you know from the NBA to South by Southwest to like even the Emmy, all the Emmy events, things have been canceled. Facebook, come on and say hi. Come on in these streets. Y'all, lately y'all been real quiet in these comments. If I want to talk to myself, I can just do that with me and Prince. But I'm going to keep talking. Say hi at least. Let me know you're here. Send me some love. I need love too. I need love too. I need to be loved on. Y'all, I'll be feeling the love sometimes. But here's what, here's what came for me. Like, something you can do, something tangible is this. If schools are getting closed, right? If your job shuts down, if you are on Broadway, or if you are on one of these cruise ships as an actor, you know, and all of a sudden work is quiet or y'all are shut down till further notice. Like, I always think like, okay, you have now, I've been given this time. Okay, God, hi, Tony, how's your queer? Right? I've been given time. Maybe you are given time to do something, to complete something. So my answer to you, Kate, and we're talking about acting in the midst of crisis and feeling like, what you know, is this even important right now in the big scheme of things? And I say yes. This may be the time 
Maybe auditions slow down or maybe your work gets put on hold. This is the time to create to create. So just because the phone's not ringing, maybe this is when you write a poem. Maybe you record a monologue. Maybe you write that short film you've been putting off, right? Christine, right? I've started, but it's like I want to step up, step up, step up, step up. So in, I have to remember the power what we do has. People need something to watch. People need things to binge. And if it wasn't for artists, if it wasn't for actors and writers and producers and directors, oh my gosh, I think the world would be a much more boring place. So I want to send that to you, Kate, and I hope you receive that. And to anybody else who's watching, who's, you know, we're all being affected. Even if we're not personally diagnosed with a sickness or an illness right now, we, we feel it. And as creatives, we are, God, we get, we get paid to use our hearts, right? Our, our, we're so empath empathetic, right? Um, like we, we feel instantly. That's why I can't watch the news but so long. Give me the highlights. I will do a quick scroll, but I don't need to watch it for hours to understand that, you know, shit is serious out here, right? So think about how can we help the world? How can we spread some, uh, y'all know I'm always talking about spread love. How can we spread love? I dare one of you to write a song and, and record it, Dawn. I'm just calling you out because I see your name. But I dare you singers out there, write a song, record it, put it on Instagram, put it on YouTube, and let that go viral so somebody can be lifted up and inspired and be like, man, you helped me through this day. You ever be scrolling, have a tough day, no matter what's going on, and then you see one of those cute little cat videos, a, a little baby who just can't stop giggling and it makes you giggle and now it's been a ripple effect never forget the ripple effect that you have on the world every single thing that each and every one of us does ripples to the next person and it's it, the world is never the same because you are here the choice you make today the next thing you do the next person you call the next person you call just to check in hey girl how you doing hey mom how you doing hey grandma you have more impact than you realize we forget you know, I always like to compare it to, you know, um, that one, when, if you ever forget <laughs> uh, that you make, can make a difference, you know, I think of, you know, being in traffic and one, if one car slows down or stalls in the middle of the highway, you have now impacted hundreds, if not thousands of cars. Highways can be shut down, lanes closed because of something that happened with you. Never forget how powerful you are. The ant does not forget how powerful it is. Honey, don't leave leave something out and see if that ant don't show up. And then now a whole freaking uh, army of ants have come to eat your sugar, or eat whatever it is you left on the counter. Oh my gosh, we have so much power. We have so much more beauty and energy and creativity to give and to share with the world. So today, tonight, instead of watching the news, you already got the highlights. Ain't no more sanitizer at the store, okay? Just, you know, wash your hands, take a bath, love on your children, hug on yourself, love on yourself, love on your dog. Prince, I love you, boo. <laughs> but that's done, you know what I mean? Hi, Roxanne. So now what else can we do? Let's create something beautiful for the world because that's what we are charged to do. And whether you get paid for it or not is not the, is not the issue. Those of you like, Christine, I ain't booked nothing no long. I ain't worked so long. I wish I just want to act. Ain't nobody stopping you. Act. I dare you. And tag me on it. Tag me. I want to see it. So just that's a little bit of encouragement for you today. Again, inspired by Kate Greer in the Hollywood Bound Actors Facebook group. Thank you all for giving your two cents. I will keep, you know, I love hearing your suggestions. I get DMs on Instagram. You can also DM me and say, hey, Christine, maybe we could, would you consider talking about this? And, you know, I just might talk about it. All right. Have an amazing night. I have to get back to work. I've been out in these rainy streets all day, but um, I got to get back to reviewing tapes for my clients. But I just wanted to spread some love and remember, just help you remember that. You know, there's a lot going on, yeah, but we get to choose what we focus on. What we focus on expands. And I can only stand to focus on the positive and all the beauty in the world and all the dreams and goals that I have. That's what I choose to focus on. So you have a choice as well. Choose wisely. Have a good night.